going to discuss about making a thermometer using an 8085 and TMP36 temperature sensor and an LED. Well, an 8085 has 8 pins, 1 VCC and 1 ground connected to the ground of the battery and the point where all the grounds of components we use along with 8085 is connected. Well, 8085 is lot more compact and cheaper than Arduino Uno. Hence, nowadays people prefer to use 8085 more than Arduino. It has got two digital pins, PB0 and PB1, and three analog input pins, that is PB2 as A1, PB3 as A3, and PB4 as A4. The PB5 is a reset pin and is connected to the 10th pin of Arduino Uno if we interface the Arduino with 8085. So, in this case, we are not in doing that, hence I kept the pin as it is. The anode of LED is connected to the 0th pin of 8085 or PB0. The an uh, LED is used to check the temperature. If the temperature is very low, it blinks very it blinks faster. And if the temperature is uh, around normal body temperature or 30 degrees Celsius to 40 or 45 or 50, then it blinks at a steady rate. If it is between 50 to 90, the it blinks a lot slower. And if the temperature is more than 100 degrees Celsius, the blinking is stopped, the LED is still. The TMP36 temperature sensor is connected as you can see to the VCC of the battery and ground of the battery and the, PP and is, uh, and the main pin is connected to the anode of 8085, anode A1 of 8085 which is PP2. To collect the voltage from 8985. So let's get down to the code. We initialize the zeroth pin as PB0 and I define A with the A1 anode pin as PB2 and we initialize the real degree uh, variable. In setup, we set up uh, the PB0 pin as output pin and initialize the real degree as 0.0. .0. Well, in void loop, we are using in uh, taking a variable degree. Well, is this degree takes the analog voltage value from PB2 or the A1 pin. Well, the, and the voltage here can vary from 1 to 1023 1, bytes. So, to get a clearer range, we divide the value, we divide the analog value by 1024, and hence the range we get is 0 to 1. So, to increase the range, we in multiply the real degree with Five. So now the range of the value increases from 0 to 5. Now you, be w you may be wondering why I did minus 0 0.5 with the value and then multiplied with 100. Well, TMP36 has its own feature which I have given along with this explanation video as a PDF. The scale factor of TMP36, TMP36 temperature sensor is 10 millivolts per degree Celsius. That is 1 degree Celsius is 1 by 100 volts. Uh, and the linearity factor of plus minus 0 0.5 degrees Celsius which is the offset value. Hence to clear the offset we subtract the real degree value with 0 0.5 and as of now the value of real degree or the temperature is the 100 of the actual value. So to get the actual temperature we multiply the real degree by 100. The, uh, the next line gives the formula of the temperature which we calculate and we use this plus 32 to convert the degree Celsius into Fahrenheit. So here is the if condition. If the temperature is between minus 40 and 68, that uh, LED blinks faster. That is if the temperature is min between minus 40 degree Celsius to 0, the LED blinks faster because it is very low. If the temperature is between 32 or to 50, the temp LED blinks at steady rate. Uh, that is at 500 milliseconds. The temperature is between 80 to 95. The LED blinks at much slower rate. That is at 1000 milliseconds or one second. And if the temp uh, or else, if the temperature is more than 100, then the LED stops blinking. This is how we can see check the temperature. And this is how this temp uh, thermometer works. So let's check the code out. See, as you can see, it's 25 degrees Celsius and it's blinking at 500 milliseconds display. If we increase the temperature, it's 82 degrees Celsius, it blinks at a slower rate. And if more than 100, 
it stops blinking. It's 105, 100 degrees Celsius. That means you have fever. That's why it stops blinking. If, if it's minus degree, uh, minus 35 or minus 40, it blinks very fast until zero. Then it blinks slower. So, thank you.